Welcome to Hope and Healing. The two words go very well together because it will take a lot of hope to heal our world. Let's put things into historic perspective. The world in the past and history has had many worldwide catastrophes. There have been epidemics, wars, world wars, mass slaughters, holocausts that have killed and maimed far more people. We've been through much worse. However, in our lifetime, and perhaps in the lifetime of man, has there been a time when the entire planet was affected simultaneously? We're talking about some seven billion people. Now, wars clearly affected the region where the war was being fought, and terrorism affected the targets of the attack, and epidemics throughout history that were far worse than the coronavirus hit major populations. But because the world was separated by continents and travel was not frequent, these epidemics did not affect the entire globe at the same time. You would have to go back to the flood in Noah's time or the exodus of the Jewish nation from Egypt which we were taught was felt throughout the entire world, to find an event that affected just about every single human being on the face of the planet at the very same time. So something is happening, something big, something huge, a challenge to mankind of historic nature. Think about our day-to-day -day life. Think about the structure which we were all accustomed to. Most of us can't go to work, or there is no work, or we're working from home, or with a reduced staff. Sports, for which so many of us was a great escape and a passion, has come to a halt. The basketball season has come to an end, just about hockey season, soccer. The baseball season, which was supposed to have opening day this week, is on hold. And the other entertainment you have movies and theaters and concerts all closed down. Many looked forward to travel and vacations while all travel has come to a halt. Shopping, which is a big part of so many lives, have come to a stop. Malls are closed, stores are closed, beaches are shut down, parties and barbecues, and family simchas and weddings and bar mitzvahs and bas mitzvahs. Although they're going on, they're going on with simply just family. And yes, even religious services. Was there ever a time that all synagogues were closed down? We can't even pray together in one room. And all faiths, churches, mosques, all closed down. Emails going around, can anyone say Kaddish for my father? Can anyone say Kaddish for my mother? Has there ever been a time when you couldn't find a synagogue open so that the memorial prayer could be said for one's father, for one's mother, for one's bubby, for one's Zadie? The world as we know it has stopped. Life as we know it has come to a halt. This is cosmic. God is talking to humanity. God is speaking to each and every human being on the face of the planet. And he wants our attention. Now, I'm not a prophet. I can't tell you I know for certain what he is saying. I can just share some thoughts, some suggestions, some Torah perspective, but we each need to internalize. I listed before everything about daily life that has been shut down or taken away from us. One of the few things that has not been affected, however is our communication abilities. We can still talk to one another, just not in person. In fact, in this regard, we have something no prior generation ever had. Think about the communication abilities of today. Phones and email and texts and WhatsApps and Facebooks and Instagrams and Zoom and YouTube and live streaming. So where so much has been taken away from us, our ability to share with one another, to inspire one another, to study together in a different format, to pray together, this has been enhanced by technology, the likes of which our parents' generations could never ever dream of. 
So my challenge to each and every single one of us for today, and each day we'll talk a little bit more perhaps about what we can do in the realm of hope and healing. I ask that we each communicate with 10 people per day. I'm not talking about a, a group session. I'm talking about sitting down and communicating with 10 different individuals throughout the day, from Sunday through Friday, not on the Sabbath. And in these communications, try reaching out in any of the forms of communication and speak to someone and see how they're doing and share your concern and share your love and share your thoughts and share a good idea. But let's reach out. And here's the stipulation. One out of the 10 should be someone that you have not communicated with in the past 12 months. So that each day, each of us listening to this will reach out to 10, multiply it by all those in this audience, and we'll be reaching thousands of people, and hopefully this will spread and spread, just like a virus is spreading the negative. Let's spread goodness in the positive. And let's reach out. Let's reach out with our hopes. Let's reach out with our prayers. We're going to be doing classes, we're going to be doing lectures, we're going to be doing sermons. So I'm going to be using this form to send you messages from time to time that there's a class that's starting at 8 p.m. or a lecture that's starting at 5 p.m. Um, these are not going to be chat groups in which everyone's going to be able to respond. They're just simply going to be a means of communication from me to you to tell you what's coming up next. And you can choose to listen, you can choose to listen at your own leisure, but let's stay in touch and let's indeed Let's bring hope to each other, and let's bring healing to a world. Let us pray at this very moment for all those that are ill, that God indeed sends the cure and sends the refuah shalema, speedy recovery for all those throughout the entire world that is ill. And may God protect you and protect your entire family. May he protect all of our families. May he protect our communities, our nation, our people, our world. Shalom.